Comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group, copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. The role of a woman in the society is to submit. Void control are the pills of the devil. Education is so fundamental to the development of a people. Hi, murderers. Simple as that. What am I voting for? Voting will change nothing. Good moon I see. Como ye. God save the queen. Broadcasting live from ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas, welcome to Freedom March. My name is Rodney Monker. I'm a Justice of the Peace here in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. I'm a member of the local Catholic Christian community. And of course, I'm a Justice of the Peace. I think I said that earlier. Well, I'm 61. I welcome everybody in the sounding of my voice. So welcome once again to Freedom March. And praise the Lord, my spiritual advisor, he is in the house and he will be joining me on the second go wrong. Well, folks, I'm going to return to the talk about the beach access. There are reasons for that. But moreover, we shall look at the crime situation, because we know that today the commissioner of police, he held a press conference. And from the little that I have heard, I am not sure that he is offered to the nation a crime fighting strategy. I have reason to say that, you know, because I am personally a victim of criminal activities. December 2nd, 2017, they firebombed me, destroyed my car. And then, of course, on majority rule day that night, they returned and they stole the car plates. And the police has not solved that yet, even though the Right Honorable Hubert Alexander Ingram confronted with the evidence has told me this is an easy one for the police to solve, but my matter has not been solved yet. I have to take it personal. Crime is always personal, you know. Whenever you are affected as an individual, it's extremely personal, so you have to deal with that. So I'll be talking about that, and then who knows, I'm going to tell you I may, or perhaps I should hold it a secret. You know what I'm going to do? I'm doing a special course tomorrow. I think I'm going to keep it secret until I enter the classroom. And then when I would have sat down, listen to the series of lectureship. Then I'll come back and I'll tell you how and what they are teaching public service drivers. It's a wonderful experience I had today as I made a certain application. And in the course of making that application, I may have inadvertently stumbled over an interesting event, but I'm going to hold it back until tomorrow. So, folks, there's some of the things on my mind. And of course, the Right Honorable Hubert Alexander Ingram sends out a happy birthday shout out to Garden Hills Member of Parliament, Brenzel Roll. Brenzel, happy birthday from Hubert Alexander Ingram and me. Say, Papa, remember your birthday, Brenzel. And so did I. This is Freedom March. Today, 
is Ransom Roll. Wait, day. Be right back after the break. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker, and as usual, I give God thanks when my spiritual advisor, Bradley Rule, is mm -hmm. in the house. Bradley, welcome to Freedom March. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Monker. Always a pleasure to be here with you in Freedom March. So what were you up to uh, for the first part of the morning? <laughs> Well, you know, as as I promised the uh, residents of um, Southern Shores, Marshall Road in particular, that I would return there to remove uh, the bedroom set, that front room set, that old stove. And you moved them? What a heater, yeah, man. Yeah, My, uh, as promised. You're such a blessed citizen. Yeah, it's it's just unfortunate, though. I um, just hope the government will pay you. Of course. Of they course. will. Yeah, it's the people's time, But before time, we you know? talk more of that, why don't you lead us either in... A scripture? A biblical scripture, scripture reading, yeah. And our prayer, yeah. my spiritual advisor. Yeah, let me just read something here quickly from the book of Galatians, chapter 5. And I'm, um, I want to read, starting from verse number 19. It says, um, Now the works of the flesh are evident sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, revelries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom wow. of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such things. There is no law. Very interesting. My spiritual scripture. advisor, I was moved by a number of the quotes in the scripture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who all will not be able to inherit? This is interesting. Kingdom? It says that those who practice such things, and this is interesting, Mr. Monka, because when you look at it, sometimes we all do fall in one or two of these categories. It says, now, the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality. What is meant by the works of the flesh. It, it, it talks about you getting involved in the things that are contrary to God's law. You know, when it, when it speaks about the works of the flesh, it's actually talking about the deeds that you do in the body. The works of the flesh. The, the deeds, deeds that, that you, you do, do in, in the, the body, body. My spiritual advisor? Sexual immorality. Okay. Impurity. Sensuality. Of course, you do understand sensuality. Idolatry. We idolize some people, Mr. Monka, to the point where we may be involved in idolatry. You got sorcery. All right? You got some people practicing witchcraft. Oh, I know. I know quite <laughs> a number of prominent citizens. Must stop that. Oh, yeah. Practicing sorcery, Mr. Monka? They're practicing obia. Right. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Amnity. Strife. Yeah. You get jealousy. You get fits of Not anger. only my spiritual advisor are they practicing obia. They're putting tanks in bottle. <laughs> yeah. Lizard tail. <laughs> Bean. <Yeah. laughs> and my I mean, spiritual it's not advisor. The, it's not a laugh at, but you know, it's, some it's of a serious thing. Some of them are even putting graveyard dirt in it. Really? That's, uh -huh. that's obia. I mean, that's stuff. And they're tying it up in the tree. Yeah. <laughs> One or two, my spiritual <laughs> advisor. I've seen that. Also, I've seen that, Mr. Monka. Yeah. I always wondered about that when I was younger. I see these bottles hanging hanging up in the trees. Yeah, and so, they're also burying it in the front of some of the people them yard. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I know one obia woman who used to do those same two things. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you know 
the late Basil Nain. He the was a former senior assistant commissioner. Oh, yes, Basil Nain, yeah. Yeah, one mm -hmm. of my relatives. Mm -hmm. He prosecuted her for practicing obia. Mm. And listen, I used to have doubts as to whether or not obia works. But yeah. my grand, it does. It is, it is a power and worse to say. He got her to court. She win the case. Really? Yeah. She she did little things. So there are some people who practice in Obi in this country yeah. right now, as we speak. But Mr. Monica, my cousin win. Really? She would go to court with graveyard dirt. Carry the graveyard dirt yeah. to court. Mr. Monica, you can't be serious. Of course, I said it's carry my cousin. The, carry the dirt, the graveyard dirt to graveyard court. Date. Yeah. In fact. But many, how did she get that in the court? She put it in her gown. In <laughs> fact, many of the cases <laughs> that the prosecution is losing, uh, no. it is due to underhand work and graveyard date. Yeah. I told the police, you know, that there was a certain criminal who, every time he went to court, mm -hmm. he got bail mm -hmm. because his mother... She find quite a number of, camb of candles, and she would burn candle all night, and it's amazing. go in the graveyard. People seeking the power. And I them. told the police how to beat them, and when I wasn't looking, the police start laughing at me. Really? Yeah. See, I, as I was telling them, I said, "Listen, the only way y'all could win this case, because they are doing underhand works." Sorcery. They listen to me. Well, Mr. Monker. And when they had doubt, I said, well, it's mm -hmm. only two things. It is either Obia or the magistrate. And since I knew that the magistrate was a safe person, it had to be <laughs> Obia. And all he uh, did, boy, all they you. did, they burned candle. His ma sometimes used to go in the graveyard. What? Yeah. I can't tell you about it because, you know, I'm a Christian. Wow. But listen, one night... I was walking through the graveyard when I saw his mother. <laughs> yeah. Baron Sammy. But, uh, huh? Baron Sam <laughs> but let's leave that. <laughs> oh, boy. But listen, the thing is that the Apostle Paul sends a stern warning, and he says to the Christians that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So, Mr. Wow. Monica, we must learn to stay away from the forces of evil and its practices. My spiritual advice, I'm going to listen to you. Yeah, please. Let's do because that. Because... Uh -huh. I'm still suspicious. This person keep winning cases. Really? Got to be doing underhand work. Well, right. we must pray that that person is delivered from that evil force. But Mr. if he's Monka. delivered, it means he will, he will go to prison. Case. Ah, and he don't okay. want to go to jail. Okay. I don't know. Carl Bettel may have to start doing little things. Really? I don't know. I'm not advocating it, you know, but... It is what it is. The underhand way. Let's do the but right the Bible thing. has warned us to yes. stay far. Those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. This that is, is an absolute. Absolutely. And you are preaching this. All the time, Mr. Monka. All this the is, time. This is powerful. But my spiritual advice, I mm -hmm. thank you for the powerful for scripture. that wonderful Absolutely. Simon. Absolutely. Well, folks, the Commissioner of Police held a press conference today. And I must confess, I have not gotten... The full report. But my Negro source, who would have heard the full report, has advised me that there were many questions that the Commissioner of Police did not answer, and that he, according to my Negro sources, claimed that he could not answer because he had not yet shown the crime fighting strategy to the minister responsible for national security. It suggests to me that if the Commissioner of Police must first reveal his crime fighting strategy with the minister responsible for national security, and he did not do it, then his press conference was premature. That is what I think. If a condition of revealing the crime fighting strategy to the public is subject to first revealing it to the Minister of National Security. Why hold the press conference? Because one expects that when one holds a press conference, you will answer 
the question them. I don't know. It means that I may have to wait to receive more news. But I was fortunate to hear the Deputy Commissioner of Police responsible for Grand Bahama and disciplined in the Royal Bahamas Police Force. And of course, he appeared to have suggested, without providing, as far as I was able to hear, any crime fighting plans for Grand Bahama. He seems to have suggested that he is focusing principally on police discipline. Well, we can't kill him for that. In a law enforcement agency, discipline is essential to good management and to effective fighting crime. I'm not pleased, however, because as I continue to repeat, on the 2nd of December 2017, I was a victim of a terrorist attack. And I continue to believe that the Free National Movement government is not serious about enforcing and ensuring that these things doesn't happen to me and other citizens. And so I ran in to noted attorney Wayne Monroe QC and I've asked him for a meeting because I think that the same thing, the same evidence that was provided to the former Prime Minister Hubert Ingram over this attack, I've not shared it with Mr. Monroe. And the last time that I saw noted QC Fred Smith, he put some things in my head that I've been praying over, that I've been contemplating, and now I'm going to go to see Monroe so that he will further advise me. And if he agrees with the strategy that Fred Smith has left in my head, I'm going to pursue it because something is wrong that that kind of attack can be committed upon me and the police wouldn't go and pick up the man. Now they come back on majority rule day and screw up all the plates. It is one big mockery as we talk about fighting crime. However, I still have a lot of options because there is a super World Police Organization called the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I may have to ask the FBI for assistance. I may have to. I may have to ask them because I'm totally displeased that that criminal act could be committed upon me and the police wouldn't go and get the man wouldn't go and get the man. But tomorrow, we'll get back to what the police commissioner and deputy commissioner has to offer us, taking into consideration that Elliston Greenslade, the former commissioner of police, has now moved off the scene and is somewhere in London at the court of King James. I hope I have it correctly. But yesterday, the leader of a majesty's opposition in this country attacked the prime minister and the free national movement. Philip Brave Davis argued that Dr. Minnis and the FNM has no crime fighting strategy and that even though Throughout the campaign and throughout the years leading up to the 2017 general election, Menes, who was then the leader of the FNM, offered what they claim 
were means and methods by which they can reduce crime. But by grab, they are in charge, and we are seeing that the criminals are still waging a serious war on law-abiding citizens to the extent that many of our citizens not only are victims of crime, they now just intimidate it and have this fear of crime where the real and all imaginary but it is not good for the national psyche. It's not good for the mind. When our people are intimidated by crime and the fear of crime. If only you could find me someone who has a good crime fighting mechanism that will remove the fear of crime and to reduce it. Because in every society, you will always have a criminal class. But the law is responsible for just slapping them down. You never totally eradicate it in a democracy. But if the law is properly organized, and in terms of organization of the law, it calls for what? A competent police force with all the materials to conduct serious investigation. It calls for an attorney general's office free of skullduggery and corruption. Remember, I told you about a twilight zone, an illusionary zone. Where I see things and I hear things. Not in the real world, you know. I'm talking about in the twilight world of the Attorney General office. I am hearing things that displeases me. And I'm talking about the real Attorney General office, you know. Even though I mean the real Attorney General office. I'm very displeased when I'm hearing skullduggery. It displeases me. And in order for me to escape the reality of what has been fed to me in the real world, I must escape to an illusionary world of a Attorney General office. I don't like it. It disturbs me. It disturbs me. And I call on the Bahamas Bar Association to step now. I need them to conduct two types of investigation because I don't like what I'm hearing in my imaginary world, which I suspect is real. This is Freedom March. I'll be right back. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. Expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, Callers and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios. My name is Rodney Monker. Bradley Roll is my colleague and my spiritual advisor. When we took the adjournment, I was talking about the Commissioner of Police and his press conference today. I also went into an illusion as I talk about things that I'm hearing in the twilight zone about the Attorney General's office. And we also know that there are allegations in the Supreme Court in an affidavit in which a former registrar of the Supreme Court is denying that he ever signed any order. As we look at justice, 
I as a layman, I'm faced with situations that sometimes you can't talk. But there's something that I shall talk. You see, if we are to fight crime, we have to have a strong and disciplined law enforcement agency. The Attorney General Office must also be strong and competent and within the law. The judiciary must be above suspicions. But there is an element in the administration of justice that we're not paying attention to. And it takes me back 30 odd years ago when they didn't pay any attention to it. What is it? It's the jury, the jury pool. In the district of New Providence appeared before me Negro citizens who profess that they are or is the jury dam. And they complained that notwithstanding that they have put aside their work in the society to make a contribution in the administration of justice, the mega pay that the state provides, the court, the public treasury, the Ministry of Finance will not pay them. It's dangerous. You say, you all think I fool, eh? I know fool. When the juror is not being paid, he is open to corruption. The juror must be paid. The juror must be paid if the acting Chief Justice must take it out of his own pocket. Something ain't right. You see, I 61. And when they thought that I was not watching the system, I was right there watching the system. Sometimes my wife couldn't understand why I was going to court. And he had no case before the court. I said, woman, I'm going to learn the system. And I'm going to watch the administration of justice because one day, I may have to testify before the Bahamian people. What you all doing not paying the juror? It's dangerous. The jury must be paid by the state. It must be paid. Somebody must pay the jury. So that the juror will not reflect on the fact that he's making this contribution and he ain't got no payment. 30 years ago, 35 years ago, when they didn't pay attention to the juror, guess who paid the attention to the juror? Those who efficiently mastered how to bribe the jury and undermine the administration of justice by taking a dagger and stabbing her in her most vital parts. That's what happened in this country, you know. Don't mind these people. I'm 61. And I lived 61 years sober. No cocaine. No marijuana. No quail loads. You hear me? And no rum. So I know what I'm talking about. I don't like how the jury is not being paid. So we heard a wonderful address at the opening of the criminal assize, we heard wonderful sermon. No one in the clergy who preached at this judicial gathering mentioned the juror and a part of the legal system is a jury pool of honorable citizens who will not. You see, the last time I served on a jury was in 1989. And my judge was Dame Joan Sawyer. She only used to pay me $5 a day. What was $5? I compensated because I was the foreman. So whenever there was an opportunity, which was not plenty opportunity, and I could order food, I ordered the best food. As the foreman of the juror, perhaps it was only one, 
when we deliberated over the, a man was guilty of a serious crime. The juror must be paid. I call on the government to immediately start issuing checks to the jury. You're better. Because I know things. And I see things. And I hear things. And people tell me things. You hear me? The juror must be paid. Somebody must pay the juror. Now I heard some Negroes complaining over the fact that there is a juror list. Because I'm talking about crime. And I'm talking about the administration of justice. And I'm talking about what the police is saying. And I'm looking at what the acting chief justice is saying. And Carl Battle, who I believe gone off the United Nations, looking at what they all say. But no one from the jury pool addressed the opening of this criminal year. The system don't allow it. So the jury them has to get information out. And one of the information that they have sent to me, and when the Negro man brought it to me, and he appeared in the city of the island, and he said to me, oh, my justice of the peace, they wouldn't pay me. I thought he was working for Jeff Lloyd in the Ministry of Education, and or the man in charge of the Ministry of Work. I thought it was them. And when he told me, it was not them, but it was the administration of justice, I recognized being in trouble. What y'all doing in paying the juror? Huh? And the juror claimed they have not been paid from way down in September. The government will pay the juror or the crooks will pay them. Simple as that. I hate to say that. I don't think it's kind for me to say those kind of things. But somebody has to say it. Get the juror money. I don't care where you all get it from. I don't care if you borrow it from the Bank of the Bahamas. Or if you borrow it from Brent Simnet. Because Brent Simnet, them, daddy got big bank. I don't care where you all get the money from. But the juror is complaining. And if you all don't deal with it, I can come here and miss and slip and say things. I don't want to do that. Because I do not wish in any way to undermine the administration of justice. But I live long. And I thank God. I live a sober life. Where I remember the skullduggeries that took place in this administration of justice many years. Who will pay the jurors? Who? What this is? You call the court. You ask the court with the money. The court said the check ready, but the treasury ain't send the money. What kind of foolishness is this? The checks, them, are ready. But the Ministry of Finance and the Department, the Treasury, ain't send the money yet. What this is? Huh? Isn't the court, isn't the jury an equal branch in our system? Somebody got to pay it. Y'all better stop the running country slack. Y'all must stop running the country slack. My spiritual advisor, should I keep carrying on? Because in the district of New Providence appeared before me a Negro juror. Complaining. Who says... They haven't been paid. They wouldn't pay. And he's wake hard. Mm -hmm. What's the process, though, once you're on the jury list and you start to work those cases? How, how are you compensated? Either a check from the court, right? Mm -hmm. I, they, they used to pay me. Um, they didn't pay me plenty. And I wake hard. Then I go mm -hmm. in that juror room. I had to wrestle with all the jurors. Because once you go before them, they don't look at evidence. Oh, okay. They look at how you look. Ooh, right? Okay. I had a Negro man when I was on the juror. Somebody said he was so black. And I said to all the jurors, what y'all talking about? Only me and your fair skin. 
<laughs> what y'all talking about? He's so black. I say because he's black, I believe he's innocent. Oh, you see? <laughs> yeah. That so, has nothing to do with it, man. I quite agree, Joe. Yeah, that's nothing to do with it. And now, I'm um, the one pay the jury. They will not right, pay the so. jury, and I don't want to put things in the jury head because as they as he. Let me keep it clear. Mm -hmm. Complain in my mind. I say, you know what I should do? I should encourage the jury to get black out and go to court demanding their money. That's what I should do. Or I should tell the juror, file a trade dispute with the own folks. Let's make a mockery over the inefficiency in the system. Because the first sign of corruption, don't ever forget it. The first sign of corruption in a system is what? Inefficiency, incompetence. That's what it is. All right? And so the people are complaining. Say something. No, you, you said it all, Mr. Monka. You don't want to say something? No, I don't want to get it. Tell that. the government I to pay the jury. Uh, you've done it, Mr. Monka. Oh, my spiritual advisor, tell I the FNM. I am not getting in that politics, Mr. Monka. You've done a good job. You think so? In petitioning the government, yes. They should be paid. They've been paid all along. Why aren't they paying the jurors? I mean, from September. And then you September? Have... October, no November, pay. December, January, yeah. October? Mm -hmm. No pay. December, no pay. January, no pay. It is dangerous when a juror pool is concerned about when they can get paid. A person faced with that may say, man, let me get, get rid of this case. And then corruption yeah. steps into the system. I want you all to pay the juror, man. All this bunch of talk. Huh? Y'all want to play country? Well, if you're going to play country, you have to do the thing right. The jurors are upset. All right? And I don't want to put in their head, grab black out, and go to court. I don't want to do that. All right? 61. I want to keep the politics out of the legal system. But in the twilight zone, I'm hearing things. I'm hearing things. And the word to the wise is sufficient. Because I do hear things. It's like how I'm trying to determine if it is true that Carl Bethel is a twin. And I believe it, even though I have not found the evidence. Let's look at what the opposition leader is saying. Meanwhile, my clock is off. So, you better get my clock on, Mr. Producer. Former Deputy Prime Minister claims mm -hmm. closing the NIA has led to increase in crime. What is the NIA? The government calls it the National Intelligence, National Agency. Intelligence Agency. And there were controversy. When decent Loretta Butler Turner raised the issue as to whether or not the National Intelligence Agency was set up in accordance with laws. So there was one big row and one big debate. And the FNM decided that they will get rid of it. And they couldn't make up their mind. One minute, Marvin Dame says he's going to get rid of it. The next minute, Marvin Dames was not sure if he would get rid of it. But in the process, they got rid of it. They bought it back. They got rid of it. They bought it back. And I saw where it is. Supposed to be some spy agency. They're not doing a good job because they can't catch the man who firebombed me. Or it was not set up to help people such as I. So let's see what the leader of the opposition in the country had to say. Please fix my clock, because I can't see the clock. So what is it that the leader of the opposition had to say? Well, I shall read it to you. 
My spiritual advisor, would you kindly read what the I leader ha- I have a copy right of here. the you have a copy? Read that for me, my spiritual advisor. Uh, Are you able to well, say it? I'm trying to figure it up. Anyhow, let me just read this. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the former deputy prime minister claims closing NIA has led to increased crime. So where does he get this information? From? Just read. You're not to analyze politics. Uh, you analyze the Bible. You okay. leave that for me. How uh, you mean where you get it from? Is Philip Brave Davis being fair here now? You wanna, huh? you is wanna, he being fair? My spiritual advisor, uh, you know, how, you please. How could you spit this kind of information out to the public? Without getting the proper information. He has the proper information. He does. He was the deputy prime minister. He was the second man politically in charge of the National Intelligence Agency. He and the former prime minister, Perry Christie, would have been consistently briefed by the National Intelligence Agency. Mm -hmm. So they would know what intelligence were being delivered. And we now know that Commander Butch Cavalla was our 007 while running NIA. Uh, suggesting that there could be some correlation between the disbandment of the National Intelligence Agency and an increase in certain categories of crime. Opposition leader Philip Brave Davis said yesterday, the Free National Movement claimed to have the answers to reduce crime in the Bahamas but has not demonstrated this. However, new crime numbers are out. Sorry, new crime numbers are not yet out. Davis yes. called, where are we going, page eight? Uh, let's see if we could fold this back here. Former Senator. Go ahead, my um, special advisor. The minister, admit, he called the minister's administration hypocritical and disappointing. They boasted that they had the answer to crime, David said at the PLP's headquarters. But so far, we have seen nothing different happening today than when they accused the PLP of fostering crime. What concerns me more than anything else is the hypocrisy of this government. David said, I see no evidence, and I dare say that there is no evidence that the efforts of the FNM to fight crime or their new initiatives have done anything to lessen crime. Indeed, the Prime Minister's boast that crime has failed, sorry, indeed the Prime Minister's boast that crime and the fear of crime is down and the country's calm seem to be all but ideal boasts. But crime data shows that murder in the last quarter of 2017 decreased by 62% when compared to the same period in 2016. Murders in November last year were down 92% year on year. There was one murder in November 2017 compared to 13 murders in November 2016. In October 2017, there were 10 murders. This represents a 16% decrease compared to the 12 murders recorded in October 2016. Overall, the 123 murders for 2017 represents a 10% increase in murders. There were 111 murders for the whole of 2016. While Davis acknowledged that murders in recent months have slowed pace, he said other categories of crime have persisted, including, including armed robberies. Including armed robberies. He did not substantiate this claim. Crime statistics for 2017 expected to be released today by the Commissioner of Police. Read on. You read. The, read on. Man, Davis, read the story, my <laughs> spiritual advisor. Davis said it was a mistake for the FNM to dissolve the NIA. There was nothing unlawful about it, he insisted. The government at any time has the legal authority to convene administrative bodies to review crime, criminal matters and other intelligence. In fact, they can convene <laughs> administrative bodies bodies to deal with any initiative that they deem would lend to its own better governance. Um, As it stands today in all of our law enforcement agencies, there is nothing that prevents the sharing of information even today. Davis said the purpose of the former administration's NIA was to break down the silo between agencies and facilitate a constant flow of intelligence. He says, uh, let me just fold this here. He said, under premise of propaganda, 
The FNM won the government and shut down the operation. But on the heels of shutting it down, they now admit there is a need for intelligence gathering. In opposition, the FNM called on the government to introduce... Sorry, in opposition, the FNM called on the government in and introduce legislation as, or as a two. Anyway, well, the, 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 it's, it's bad. It's right a here. typo. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. To govern the NIA amid concerns of domestic spying, but it generally supported the objective of an intelligence unit. The NIA had been in operation for five years under the Christie administration without legislation to govern it. Former administration. I'm about that. Go ahead. Yeah. The former administration repeatedly promised to bring legislation but failed to do so. This left questions over the scope of the program and its specific, inf- its specific functions in the fight against crime. The Minister administration introduced an NIA bill in 2017 in September. It proposes to establish an agency of the government that would be responsible for gathering intelligence, intelligence that impacts the security of the Bahamas. Davis said, while the Bahamas has been the, sub- the subject of crime advisories from the United States in the past, this must be taken seriously, analyzed, and responded to with comprehensive resolutions. We think the government has to be proactive in seeking out why they, meaning the U.S. officials, believe that an element that... Believe that an element that... And eliminate... Oh, sorry. Eliminate the causes he said. We ought to get proactive and ask the U.S. why do you believe that they need to issue advisories of that, of that nature that they have? Find out what those causes are and eliminate those causes so as not to have future occurrences. Davis labeled the government's response to the latest advisory lots of days ago. That's interesting. The U.S. involved the U.S. The US issued a level two travel advisory for the Bahamas, warning U.S. citizens to exercise increased caution when visiting the country due to crime. Advisories were also issued for other countries, which were ranked according to a new advisory system on a scale of one to four, with four being the most severe warning. So, my spiritual advisor, hmm. Davis labeled the government's response. You know, to I the can't latest- see the clock, right? Yeah, he, he, your mom, labeled the government's response to the latest advisory lax a days ago. Yeah. Explain that. Well, essentially, the FNM has proposed mm-hmm. that they will fight crime. I know it's I'm a talking citizen. about the response that the government gave in, re- in regards to advisory that was issued by the U.S. government concerning what, the fish what fry. Is your, what is your question about it? He says the government's response to lax a days They didn't respond to it? He said it is lackadaisical. Well, okay, explain Dr. that. Dr. Minnes say mm-hmm. that they will set out to prove the Americans wrong. Okay. I say they cannot prove, no, the Americans wrong because mm-hmm. that retaliation was due to the fact that the Bahamas did not support President Trump at the UN. Nobody's mentioning that, though. Don't mind. These are incompetent right. Negroes everybody is looking who do not at, think. Yeah, but everybody's looking at the advisory, the advisory for what it is. Trying to figure out why the United States issued advisory and what can you. be done. That's what you say. Yes. Right. But nobody else is saying it. Don't mind. They're not saying it. They don't know. The government didn't even acknowledge that. There is that. no they crime at it. Arawaki. I go to Arawaki every night. I have dinner. With noted attorney, Van Monroe QC. Uh-huh. You join us on a couple of occasions. Yeah, mind you, I said to and myself. Did you see any crime? Yeah, once. I think one Sunday we were there, and I said. I was I, with you? Yeah, of course. Remember? And there was a criminal we, activity that no, took place? No, no criminal activity. I'm, I'm telling talk, you. No nonsense. I'm telling you what I noticed. Okay. We were talking with two gentlemen, and I said, I noticed there's some changes with the fish fry. You don't have the loud, boisterous music anymore. There's no competition between stores with loud music. Um, the police is patrolling. The crowd seems to be behaved. And I said to myself, the fish fry is changing. So in my opinion, I saw some good things about the fish fry. Yeah. So, I mean, in my opinion, just like everybody else, the advisor that the United States gave was, you know, a bit unfair in my opinion. There's nothing about unfair about it. Yes. I it was the, tit The advisor was not called for. It was tit for tat. You keep saying that, but, but nobody Don't is mind them. Flesh and blood <laughs> did not reveal this to me. All right? It's tit for tat. Uh, Butter for fat. You kill my dog. I'll kill your cat. Yeah. The president asked for this support. The Bahamas didn't give it. Donald Trump. Be we careful. Got, we're going to make America white again. 
There's nothing wrong with having some more white people in America. <laughs> Stop it, my spiritual advisor. <laughs> this is Freedom March. I'll be right back. Uh, Freedom what a March time. with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. When I took the adjournment, my spiritual advisor, Bradley Roll, who is still in the studio, he and I were looking at crime, the judicial system, and then, of course, a speech or a statement issued by opposition leader, Philip Brave Davis. Well, in my next segment, I have three Negro women, two of whom are sitting next to me. And they are a part of a program that says Get Fit 21 with a view of losing 100,000 pounds. Let me go straight to them. And ladies, first of all, welcome to Freedom March. Thank, Thank you. you. And starting with you, my dear, in this charming, beautiful gown, what is your name? My name is Antoinette Butler-Smith, and I'm a Get Fit 21 coach. And we're here to talk about the 100,000 pound challenge. And um, this is Myrtle. Myrtle. Yeah. Myrtle, how are you? Pretty good, thank and you. And what is your name, Myrtle? Myrtle Monroe, and I'm also a coach with the Get Fit 21 Challenge. Okay. I understand that this is under the auspices or in conjunction with the Ministry of Health and the Pan... American Health Organization. Health Organization, PAHO. Okay, and that on Saturday past, there was an event that began. At the Hilton. Please tell me about it. Well, Get for 21 is a collaboration and a partnership between the, um, the Pan American Health Organization, the Ministry of Health, and Unicity International. And um, on Saturday past, we had a huge event where we had hundreds of persons. They came out and we exercised and we gave them shakes and we gave them the, st the, st the statistics on the Bahamas and the crisis that we're in. I don't know if you know, but in the Bahamas, 79% of all um, school children are overweight. 50%, uh, uh, 79% of all school age children, of all school age children are uh -huh. obese. Overweight. Mm -hmm. They're overweight. Overweight. Really? Yes. Okay. We have 50% yes. of all adults in the Bahamas yes. is overweight. 50%? Overweight. Okay. One in every four adult is obese. One in every four. In every four. Right. Adult is, is a what? Obese. Goodness me. And we also... Are you pronouncing that word correct yes. correctly? Yes. Obese. Overweight. Because I'm hearing that one in every four is obese. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You better spell the word to me because I'm hearing obese. Spell obese. O b e s e. Obese. O o b e s. Okay, because I was hearing that every one in every four is obese. Okay, go ahead. Also, we know for a fact that we are number one in the Americas for diabetes. How come we are number one? Is this a race? Because what we eat, we used to be number three, but now we're number one. Explain to me how it is that in the Bahamas, we are number one. Not in the what? Bahamas, in the Americas. In the Americas. That means Canada. Canada. The Amer America. America. Australia. Australia. All of those countries, how we come? are number one. How come we are number one? Because of our eating habits. What we is it that we are eating in the Bahamas? <laughs> Is it the slave food? I think it is. It's, I think it's the grits, the hog grits. You're saying that we should not eat grits? I th I'm saying we should eat it in moderation. We okay. love grits, but, but we should have it in moderation. What about rice? Rice, we should have that in moderation. What about flour? But we should change it. We shouldn't have white rice. We should have brown rice. And brown we should have rice. yellow rice. We shouldn't have the overprocessed white rice. The flour... We shouldn't. We should have more healthier flours, like the spelled flour and the coconut flour. How much spelled flour costs? Well, how much the doctor bill costs? Well, we we have socialized medicine in the Bahamas. Mm, do we? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh huh. And how is that working out? Because we're number one in the Americas. I don't know what the FNM is doing. <laughs> 
So I am not sure how it's working out. But your point is that we have to watch our diets. Yes, we must. And we're also number six in the world for obesity in the world. And we are number six. So most of these people I see around here, they are obese. Yes, one really? out of every four adults. So we, there's four of us in the room. Right. One of us is obese. Really? Yes. Well, actually, I, two, cause it, it's, actually two, because I may be, I'm only five foot five. Right, yeah. and I just recently lost forty-five pounds. Really, but I'm considered obese on the chart. You maybe are. not obese, but borderline okay. obesity. What about Sister Monroe? She looks more <laughs> obese than you. <laughs> Sister Monroe, can you tell him about your journey? Yeah, she's right. I am far more obese than she is. Fix her mic up a little okay. closer. <laughs> go ahead, okay. uh, go ahead, Sister Monroe. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to touch a little bit on something you asked about the food. The food. Tell us about the food. Uh, one of the things is that, um, yeah, well, the grits and the rice might have a part to play, but I think it's more even leaning heavier to all the amount of fried foods that we consume. Fried food. So we have the crack conk. The crack conk. Mm -hmm. We have the deep fried chicken. The deep fried chicken. And if we can do the fish, it's a deep fry. Yes. It's a lot of fried foods that we've been eating. What would be the alternative? I want to eat conk. And my neighbor wants to eat turtle. But foreigners told the government to declare it unlawful. So we can't eat turtle. Right? I don't eat turtle. But my neighbor wants to eat it. How would you suggest that I cook the conk? You can Since I believe can that the conk mm -hmm. is an aphrodisiac. It is. <laughs> it is? It is indeed. Well, it's a lot of ways to eat the conk. Because well, tell me. You have conk salad. Conk salad. Yes. And you have a lot of vegetables in that. Yes. And um, all the uh, lime juice, all that helps in, in, in keeping the weight down. Okay. And then if you want to have it cooked, you could do the grilled conk. That's grilled right. conk. You grill that's the right. conk, you add vegetables in that as well. Yes. And so that's a healthier way what of eating the What about the chicken? Conk. How should how can I cook the chicken? Well, you can broil it, you can grill it, you can uh, bake it. It's a lot of ways you could rotisserie. It's a lot of things you could do with chicken. Even if you did the curry chicken, it's no mm -hmm. amount of grease in that once you pull the skin and every under fat. Okay. Yes. And what about the fish? Well, the fish you can do it broil as well. You could bake it. You could, um, do you know you could oven fry stuff? O oven fry stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could oven fry your chicken or your fish if you really feel, there are times you're going to feel for that fry something. Okay. So you can always fake it and make it healthier by doing an oven fry. Fake it by doing the oven fry instead of deep, instead of deep frying, doing an oven fry. Now what you do fry. if you tell it to the woman and the woman don't want to obey because she decides that her ma used to bake it and die of diabetes. Right. Her grandma used to bake it. What do you do with the woman if the woman don't want to submit and cook what you say? Well, you cook it yourself. And, okay. by, and by the way, we have to mention that Miss Monroe lost over 90 pounds. Miss Monroe, you lost 90 pounds? Yes. What did you do? Did you do jumping jacks? <laughs> what, how did you lose 90 pounds? Well, I'm pretty much embarrassed to say. Okay. But at this point, I just start exercising now. What kind of but exercise do you do? A variety. Well, I give me one or two so that there's a certain woman <laughs> in my family who I think is also big and fat. <laughs> and I would like to suggest to her. Don't say big and fat. Just say pleasantly plump. Pleasantly plump. Yes. What did you do? Did you do jumping jacks? No, I am a bit too heavy to put all that weight on my knees. Okay, so you didn't so do jumping do jacks. So I do, the, the, the coach will um, always give you the alternative, which until you get able to do it better. And what is that? Uh, well, yes. <laughs> well, come on, do not be ashamed. You do the same movement as the jumping jacks. It's just that you're not going to actually spring into the air. Okay. But you do the same exact and movement. you lost 90 pounds. Right. But I, that was, um, I lose at least about 80 of that without the exercise, just using the products and watching what I eat. What kind of products is this you're talking about? Unicity. We're talking about these products here from Unicity. And um, these are some of the key ones that we use and that I've been using. Uh, and you gotta, first and foremost is this here. What's that? This is the Unicity Complete, which is a meal is that, replacement. Is that yes. something you eat? You drink. you drink it. You, you make a shake it. with it. You make a shake. And I can share this with you. I've tried so many shakes before, but the problem was I spent a lot of money for them and I can't consume it because it, it really tastes too off. 
But our shake is so delicious. It tastes very much like the commercial one that you get at the fast food restaurant. Really? But it's like loaded vanilla. with mm-hmm. protein. Okay. It has grams. fiber. Fiber. Lots of fiber. Okay. Fiber, proteins, vitamins, and uh, minus all that carbs. Right. And so but you can also dress it up because if you do a vanilla shake, you can add other fruits in it. Like this morning I had mine with papaya. Yes. And, um, and, 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 and just mix it. You can use the, your water or almond milk to mm-hmm. do the mixing. And this is a complete meal. And so this will be my breakfast. Okay, you can add a little bit of cinnamon, it makes it taste good. Plus, cinnamon is also good for weight loss and diabetes and all that stuff. Because I was also diabetic, you're no longer diabetic. Well, I can't say I'm not a diabetic, but I can say that my sugar has been under control from 2012. Well, We're I not need some of that because I'm the <laughs> woman, them sugar. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so this is one of those products that has helped me along the way. This cleanse here, everybody actually should do a cleanse. Should do a cleanse. Now, what, I, what is a cleanse? Because I'm a man, I bathe like from about 6 a.m. every morning. What do you mean by cleanse? <laughs> exactly. You're right. You're very right because. Um, this is for bathing off? No, this no, isn't for bathing. What I'm saying mm-hmm. is that the what very. Is it for? Well, first of all, yes. when you're going to um, when you're gonna cook, you're not going to just wash the outside of the pot. You're going to clean inside too. The same thing with the with your dishes. You're going to wash inside the plates as well as outside. This isn't detergent, and is so, it? No. Well, mm. what it does, it cleans the, the system up. It cleans outside, inside your body because you should clean from in and it, it shows up on the outside. Right. Give so me an example. If I... So you're suggesting that I should drink this? Yes. Every, no, it's, it's a drink. It has a fiber drink. But what and happens... if I drink it, what will it do to me? Well, you will find that you will be going to the bathroom early in the morning, but you won't go all day. Okay. It, it takes you to the bathroom and it actually cleans your intestine because you, a person can have up to 20 pounds of fecal matter in their gut. Really? Yes. So everyone who's trying to lose weight should actually do a cleanse. That's you a should lot. also you should detox. That's yes. A, that's a lot. You've of had you've had persons who've died because they've had fecal matter. That's a lot of sugar allergy. <laughs> Goodness of mercy. The Unicity, the Unicity product, the cleanse, yes. it's a parasite cleanse. All of us have parasites because we eat seafood, we eat pork, we eat all kind of different things. And these parasites, they eat us. So what uh, we should do is we should definitely, everyone should do a Unicity cleanse. Really? Yes. You, or you can do any other type of cleanse, but the Unicity is what we promote because we're talking about Get Fit 21 and the 100,000 pound challenge. And uh, we need to get the Bahamas off of the number six in the fattest nation in the world per capita, and number one in the Americas for diabetes. And that's our goal at Get Fit 21. And what we do is we add everyone to a Facebook group who joins. To join, the program is free. So you don't pay to go to join Get Fit. The only thing you do is you get your products. And once you get your products, we have replacement meal, we have a cleanse, we have something called Unicity Balance, which is the flagship product by Unicity. And we have two type of balance. One is cholesterol, because remember we have NCDs. Number one killer in the Bahamas are what NCDs. Is NCDs. Obesity, heart disease, diabetes. A lot of Bahamians are on dialysis, and the dialysis, and they are taking diabetic medication. A lot of Bahamians are dying, dropping dead from heart attacks. You know? Really? Yes. A lot of people are dying. So these products promote the inside metabolic health, because we are. Number one, do you understand what number? Now we don't. We're not proud of that. We're not okay. proud of. We want to be number one for other things. So we, I'm told then that the Ministry of Health is involved yes, in this. Yes. Yes. So on Saturday past, Dr. Dwayne Sands and the Pan American Health Organization was in the room, and they addressed after we did exercises. A lot of people turned out, and they addressed the nation in reference to the Bahamas. Also have an initiative, the Ministry of Health. It's called Two Four Two Fit. Two, four, two, two fit. fit. Yes. I want everyone to remember that because you're going to hear a lot about 242 Fit, Get Fit 21, and the 100,000 pound challenge. And you can hit us up on Facebook um, if you want the products or you want to join a Get Fit. I've had results actually today. One of the ladies who started 14 days ago already lost 18.3 pounds. 14 days ago. And she was 315 pounds. Really? And she's lost so far 18 plus pounds. That must have been a lot of sugar out of tea. <laughs> actually, she was on the Replacement meal, which is the Unicity replacement meal. Now, I'm concerned Mm -hmm. about meals that is family friendly, you know? Right. Some of us have a large family. Yes. Can this be saved? Of course. Of course. To the whole family? Yes, it can. It has 20 grams of protein per serving. 
Really? 20 grams of protein. Okay. Okay, per serving. It's one of the highest grade of quality protein on the market. Okay? This product here, you can go anywhere from four to six hours after drinking this without having another meal. All you do is drink water in between or some tea. Really? Yes. A lot of Bahamians, we eat too much. In the mornings, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, we're on the drive to work. We're eating grits and tuna. See, we have to understand insulin is the culprit. Sugar. When we spike our sugar levels in the body, what happens? Our body's ability to burn fat is stopped. So what we have to do, we have to eat less foods that turn to glucose in the body, and we eat, need to eat more protein and vegetables. Do you know that the average Bahamian don't eat five servings of fruits and vegetables in a week? The average okay. Bahamian. Let me, let me take this caller. Hello, caller. Welcome to Freedom Match. Good afternoon, Mr. Malkin. Good afternoon to your guests. Good afternoon. Yes, I, I want to know, do any of your products, do you have products that, that can get rid of fibroids? We actually do. We have um, not get rid of them, but actually what can happen is, you Drink know, it or, or well, what, what? our products, what we what we do, we do not, we tell you to go see a doctor. That's a very, fibroids is something that's very common, but we do have products that you can use that can actually help with the symptoms and actually help you to cope with it because a lot of women are in pain with fibroids. What is fibroids? Excuse yeah, me. But um, see, let me I don't really have no symptoms like that. I mean, I have the regular, you know, every month, but for the most part, these are just growing. The largest I have is about seven centimeters. Wow. What's, what's I have multiple fibroids, so I just, you know. That's one I of the woman to, thing. I, I really and I'm leader of the woman then, so I need to know what <laughs> this woman Myrtle, thing is. Myrtle wants to talk. Okay. Uh, She'll I address that. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Carla, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Monk. Thank you. Okay, uh, we have a product called the Wild Yam Cream. Yes. The Wild Yam mm -hmm. Cream. That's okay. a woman's best friend. Yes. Really? Yes. And okay. so people who are menopausal, people who are suffering from fibroids, the instructions is right on the tube. It tells you it, it works like how you do the bite control. You use it for 21 days and then you're off for seven. And it'll tell you exactly where to rub it each different day. Every day is a different size. But it will not affect reproduction, though. No, no it actually helps with it reproduction. Helps. Okay, this is powerful. Yeah, well, it helps with anything fertility. Anything that can help the woman to get <laughs> pregnant, we will promote it here. But nothing to cause the woman, them, not to get bigger. Okay? Okay, so. Go ahead. So if you rub it on your abdominal area. Right. And I think it's, it, it is done about three times per day. And you're going to have um, the something called SIG, S-I-G. That's, that's a capsule thing. Okay. And you're going to drink those three times a day. And I have, we have the testimony of a lady. She's a teacher uh, by profession. And she said that she, people thought that she was pregnant. That's how big the fibroids were. Really? Wow. And she mm -hmm. used this, um, the wild yam cream and the SIG together. And she began to, they shrink and she began to pass some stuff. Really? Yeah, she passed yes. some stuff. And she said, after the fibroids have all gone away. Now, Mark, you, I didn't find out exactly what time period we are talking about. Okay. But uh, when she, uh, when people see her who hadn't seen her, say, for a few months or so, mm -hmm. they would ask, what did she have? They wanted to know if it was a boy or a girl. But it was not baby. It was fibroids. You're sure now? Well, yes. Because I'm always suspicious when women look <laughs> pregnant and then all of a sudden <laughs> they're pregnant no they more. Pregnant well, no I more. can guarantee anyone that joins our Get Fit 21 program, you can find us on Facebook, Get Fit 21 Bahamas. There's, we have a lot of coaches. We're actually trying to find more coaches and get people to come on board Anything to coach. Anything for the man, Any, Yes, we have a lot. We have prostate. We have formulas for prostate really? to prevent. Well, let me hear. What to, do to actually have for prostate? Help. We have something called Prostate Health. Unicity has it for really? men. Yes. And it's a tablet that you would take and it, it actually helps promote health and, and help to keep the prostate now you in know, good health. You know what I believe about prostate, right? What do you believe about prostate? I believe that prostate is caused by keeping speed out. Oh, you mean from human papillomavirus? Oh, that's what it is. HPV, like. yes. So I'm not sure. I'm not a medical doctor. Okay. But I, I know that a lot of cervical cancers are a result of HPV. And, and that's and you multiple sex partners. And uh -huh. then it's transferred to the women. And then the women contract or they develop cervical cancer. But like I said, I'm not a medical doctor. No, no. But I know. I'm not I've, one either. Read. But all the people I know <laughs> in my family who has been keeping sweetheart, eventually their prostates 
right you know, well unicity though. unicity has this one, this o- over 192 products and um and you got something for prostate we have something for prostate what we have men in the groups as well a lot of men join our gift to anyone adding. no 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 not okay. at all not at all i'm a married woman i wouldn't want no one to sweet out my husband this is powerful yes <laughs> okay so for the prostate you have something called prostate tlc mm-hmm. prostate tlc yes you and the then you have man formula plus Men for mm-hmm. what is that good for? That is good to, for all all of the different hormonal situations really? for men. Yeah. Anything to make man sexy. And then you have something called the renew for men. Mm-hmm. Renew for I've men. Been, I've been told some men what? tell me after using that combination. Where do they, you put that? Uh, you just take it. It is a capsule. It, you take and a I, capsule by mouth. And what I'm, happens to the man? I'm hearing that some lead been going in the pencil. Lead in, <laughs> in the pencil. <laughs> Pencil writing better. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to suggest that you sell that only to married men. Well, that's what we try to do, but you okay. know, we could lose control. But the thing is, what we do is we encourage when the man is using it to ensure or do his best to get the women to use it as well. Man we, and woman, yes, we have, we have, the, female, we have female, female renew and, and male, male renew. renew. Mm-hmm. So Otherwise, you may find a male. So, woman got prostate too then? No, it, it, it works with her. That's why people who have like menopausal problems menopausal. and the same fibroids she's talking about, right. when you use that, it tends to all the hormones for women. That's why it's separate. Okay. And so a lot of time, a man come to the woman so and she says she have a headache. Who's having man a pause? <laughs> she takes that. Yes, and, and it what? helps all the 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 hot flashes and stuff. Really, it helps with the hot flashes. Hot flashes. And then I've been told, like I said, all those women who had so many headaches and back pain and tired and what have you, they right. don't have them headaches no more. The really? back pain and they don't get so tired. This is powerful. <laughs> yes, and after after you do the Get Fit program, a lot of people have been having sleeping issues. Kayla will speak about that and her issues when she come on with sleeping and you know why, why are they having difficulty sleeping because when you're on high, high doses of medication and you have a lot of anxiety in your body sometimes you develop you, you can't sleep wow you're up all through the night and kayla will speak more on that because she's had that issue until she found unicity kayla had what she couldn't sleep she was up all night no she wasn't waiting on her husband mr Mutka. Her husband was home well we had to make sure because the only <laughs> thing that could keep <laughs> kayla up is the man a reach yes. <laughs> But she will tell me what it was. Yes, yeah, she, she'll go into depth more on that. So but I, I just, we're here to talk about the nation's health. And we know that what, you have a great following oh, oh, and we want the Bahamas to get healthy. What solution has Dr. Sands offered? Well, he addressed this issue in the house in his address. Um, he talked about how if we don't do something, these diseases are going to increase 300%. Okay. And we have to do something and we have to try to get everyone to join Get Fit 21 or something. Some sort of initiative that's um, linked to the Ministry of Health because this is what happens when you join a Get Fit 21 program on Facebook or by WhatsApp. 21 days of free coaching. You have a coach what, that. What, if I join, what would you be telling me? I would be telling at you 61. Uh, what, at 61. At 61, what, what, what I would, what be, would, telling would you, be telling you. This me? is what would happen. Okay. Unicity International will email you a document. In that document, it's your food guide, your exercise guide, your metabolic health guide. They have uh, menus and different things for people with diabetic, people who have heart disease, people who are who are just normal, just want to get healthy or just want to get fit. It's not just for obese people. It's for anyone. Anyone can join Get Fit. Okay. You can be size. You can be a size six and join get fit but the way you look on the outside sometimes we don't feel the same on the inside so we want people to get their metabolic health in in check because we're all metabolic certified coaches by unicity really so what happens when you join a get fit 21 one of the coaches you will join a group usually we have 30 persons or less per group we have btc on board now we have we're getting organizations on board um to get their you know their staff because after lunch everybody's luggy so in get fit 21 you're going to join a group of pairs people like yourself who are trying to get metabolically what, fit what if i became a member and i became hungry Yes. What food? Will you will you start off. You will start off the first week. I want something I could chew. You could chew. You can chew. I could chew that. You can have three meals a day. Okay. Three meals a day. You can do an egg omelet. You can do a healthy egg omelet with a lot of kale and spinach and greens. Okay. Yeah, you can try that. Can I have some broccoli? You can have some broccoli. Can you I can, have some cabbage? You can have some cabbage. Can I have some cassava? Yes, you can. Really? Yes. And what about some yam? You can have some yam. 
You can have all of the, anything from the earth you can have, because what we want to do, we want to teach people how to choose healthier versions of what they're eating now, okay? Actually, there's so many ways. We have a macaroni recipe that you do with um, ground turkey and cabbage, and then you put a certain type of cheese on top. But I'm not going to give out all of our secrets. In order for you to get the, this, these recipes, you must join the free Get Fit well, 21. Well, if you make me a turkey macaroni, yes. who knows? You'll join Get Fit I 21. Might join. Yes. I might. And in 21 days, we coach you, we tell you what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat, what you can have in moderation. Okay. You weigh in every seven days, so you'll weigh in on day one. You know, it's a private Facebook group, so no one can see the group, only the, those in the group can see what's going on. Okay? Then we coach you for 21 days. And after that, all of my all of the persons who join are down 15, 20 pounds after 21 days. Well, you've heard two charming Negro women who have joined me as they talk about the Get Fit 21. Well, when I return, I shall have Sister Kayla. <laughs> and she will tell me what this is. This is Freedom Match. I'll be right back after the break <laughs> do you have something to say to the senator call freedom march at 323-7775 toll free from anywhere in the bahamas at 242-300-0045 freedom march with rodney monter only on iltv freedom march with rodney monker Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker. And for the second round of the show, um, we have introduced you to Miss Antoinette Butler-Smith. Now I'm going to introduce you to Miss Kayla Smith-Mortimer. Well, Kayla Smith-Mortimer, once again... Well, for you, this is your first welcome. Welcome to Freedom Match. Thank you so much, Mr. Malka. Well, just hold on for a few seconds. Listen, folks, I have a young man who's looking for a job in marketing. Brilliant young man, well-educated, and things like that. And he's in search of a job, and so I'm going to do him a favor. Give you his number. His number is 804 -0920. He's about 25 years old, good, decent young man, wants a job in marketing. And he continues to remind me, so let me say it right now. Well, Kayla Smith-Mortimer is now here with us. Kayla, you are part of this Get Fit 21. Yes, I am. Well, tell us your understanding of Get Fit 21. Well, Mr. Monker, um, I'm not obese. You're not you, obese? No. Really? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, She's not obese. <laughs> but several years ago, I had a fall at work, and I injured my back. And You fell down? Yes. Wow. And I have about six herniated, bulging, desiccated discs in my back. Um, I was getting injections in my back um, really? for several, about a year. Wow. And I gained 40 pounds off of the injection steroids. And my doctor, after getting the injections, he told me, you need to lose the weight so it won't be as much pressure on your back. And so I was determined to lose the weight. I lost 40 pounds. I went up to what a size What did you do? I detoxed. And I cleanse. She cleansed. I cleanse. It's a big word. Detox. <laughs> she cleansed. You cleanse. Yes. Tell that to me. Explain that to me. What I did was I changed my diet. Okay. I ate very healthy meals. Um, got off a lot of junk food. And what happened was, even though I'm very slim, I didn't have a good eating habit. Um, so I would truck. I would eat snacks all the time. Um, and then in the evening, I would have bad headaches. And so when I changed the way I ate, I got healthier from the inside and then I lost the weight. And so for me, um, Get Fit 21 isn't just about being obese because when people see me walking down the road, they don't see somebody fat. They see somebody who's slim, but the inside of me doesn't reflect the outside because when I had my last checkup, I was pre-cholesterol mm -hmm. and 
So I know my mother has challenges with cholesterol. I have a brother who is fit, who lives in West End Grand Bahama, who has cholesterol challenges, and we're all slim people. And so it's the food we eat, and we must change what we're eating in the Bahamas. Um, like Dr. Dwayne Sands said on Saturday, we have this mindset in the Bahamas, big butt is, you know, looking sexy, good, sexy, sexy, big, plump babies. You know, we want our babies to have double chin and look nice and plump, but that's not being healthy. Then we got, you know, make sure our husbands have this big round belly. Um, boss belly. Boss belly. Um, because we don't want their mothers to think we're not taking care of their sons. And all of that is false information. Very we need unhealthy. to make sure we are healthy. All these stats that say we're number one and number six aren't good stats. And so for me, eating healthy is the way to go. And it's not hard. And for me, like this product here, I haven't had the chocolate, I, I take the vanilla. I'm eating properly all through the day. And so when I have my complete in the morning, it's giving me all the nutrients that I need, um, nutrients, sorry, and all of the stuff that would make me feel fit and energized to go throughout the day. And so that's very important to me as a mother, as a wife. And so, I take that and then I have me a good meal. I had today, I had me Cornish hen, um, yeah, string I beans. I, I want to hear that. You had Cornish I had baked corn, um, Cornish hen. Cornish hen, string beans. String beans. And lettuce and spring mix with tomato lettuce salad. Lettuce and what? Spring mix. What is spring mix? Uh, spring mix greens. It has um, baby, it has a, baby, a um, spinach, it has arugula and it has, um, you know, the... Um, How? The poor man can afford this. Well, the poor man is afford Babu Shark. I mean, I don't want to call names of different fast food yeah, don't, restaurants, don't, don't but you names. know, you can have these things in moderation. Like I say, we're Bahamians and we love to eat these foods because it's in our culture. I even but what we need this to do. This is the first time I'm hearing that there's something called spring mix. mix spring but mix it's greens. not expensive. It's not expensive. It's the like two dollars, two ninety nine. Yes, in the food store. In the food store, and it's a bag. Um, okay. So, yes. so I should look for spring mix. Spring mix greens or lettuce. spinach. Mm -hmm. And see, that's, that's what Get Fit 21 is all about. It's about teaching you what it is you should be eating. Okay. When you go to the food store, what to look for. Um, things that can feel multiple people in your home because we know things are not the way we want it. It's difficult yeah. financially. It's hard. And so we have to make choices for all of the persons in our homes to make sure we eat healthy and so let's get away from grits let's get away from white rice yes let's have black rice let's no have grits, brown rice no let's rice some white rice yes we got rice we got black rice. rice we can have jasmine rice we have black rice jasmine rice i've never met black rice yet <laughs> the closest i came to a black rice was a school mate of mine by the name of livingston rice <laughs> and he was black <laughs> See what we're, we're trying to teach everyone and get for twenty one because you can do a tuna you can do a tuna pate a tuna pate yes you have tuna can you have can um, tuna in your house I have tuna yes you can make a a patty like you have crab cakes you can make a tuna cake well tell me how you make a tuna pate you do a pa tuna pate with um you can use spelt flour coconut flour in the tuna my friend Indira actually taught me how to do this really? you add eggs and then you make sure you drain the tuna properly okay. you add a little bit of the spelt flour the coconut flour you add the eggs season you season it with some really good herbs you can use you know basil and herbs yeah you can use herbs you can use basil and you herbs. can use rosemary <laughs> okay. yeah and herbs not herb <laughs> Okay. But not marijuana. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I never said anything but marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm happy that you're telling me. <laughs> okay. So you can do a lot on a budget. And like Kayla said, spring mix is not expensive. Okay. You can spend $5 for a box of um, a, a plastic box of spring mix. Okay. And that can last you a week. Well, I'm going to look for spring mix. Greens, spring. Yes. yes. In the section where you buy some um, lettuce and all those stuff, it's right there. Now, if the baker isn't working, because my baker isn't working. You can do sauce. Sauce is good, you know. Sauce. Well, I got some chicken wings. Yes. No, the wings, well, the the wings, wings is a bit fatty. Fatty. What part of the chicken should I you, make sauce out of? You can get Breast. the chicken and cut it up. Cut, cut it up for okay. cut it up for sauce. Yeah. Yes. Curry is good too, you know. Curry. You can do curry, but just mm -hmm. don't add flour. Right. Okay. You can add almond milk instead of the flour. Okay. Yeah, and you can don't you cannot add the white potatoes. You can add sweet potatoes to the curry. Really? Yeah. Wow. This you can eat a lot of things There's a lot of for twenty one mm -hmm. that we teach you that you can have and alternative. And you are suggesting that in the case of the Bahamas being number one in the Americas. Americas for diabetes. You want these Negroes to eat sweet potatoes yes. with yeah. diabetes? Listen, if everything 
I would prefer them to eat sweet potato than to eat potato chips or white potato. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We have to understand that we as a nation need to just get away from the norm of, of fast food restaurants and going home and using all the different oils that are not healthy. We need to use some coconut, coconut oil, oil and some olive oil. And we need to teach people that make better choices and you live longer. If you lose weight, you actually add 10 or 15 years to your life. Wow. Just hold on. I got somebody on the phone. Hello. To your life. Hello. Hi. How are you? What's on your mind? Um, I want to ask the ladies a question who talking about the weight loss. Go right ahead, my sister. Do you? I want to ask you a question. Do you Hello? Ha- I want to ask you a question. You have weight? Pardon me? Okay, ask the question. S- I want to ask them, with eating healthy, does it prevent any sort of um, liver failure, um, cancer, kidney failure, any sort of long-term illness, eating healthy. Does yes, it, it does. It does prevent it because you have to understand that sugar and mm-hmm. a lot of different things cause you to put on weight. And when you have weight, your liver is not functioning properly. Mm-hmm. Your liver actually is the part of the body that actually processes everything that you eat and drink. And even drinking sugary drinks. Some people drink their way in calorie. I've heard mm-hmm. people in my group who tell me from time to time, I don't really eat, you know. I think that's why I'm overweight. No, that's not why you're overweight. Mm-hmm. You don't really eat. And when you eat, you overeat because what you're doing is Obviously. you're going long periods of time without eating. So you're getting into a starvation mode. And when you do eat, you just want something quick and fast so you make poor choices. You drink every day. They say, oh, I drank three cups of coffee today. Then I had a milkshake and then I had a Vitamalt and then I had a soda and then I had Mm -hmm. juices. All these things are calories and sugar and fructose corn syrup. All these things contribute to weight gain. So you may not be eating your calories, you're drinking your calories Mm -hmm. and alcohol also plays a big role in our diet as Bahamians. We celebrate, we drink rum for everything. Mm-hmm. We drink rum when we cry it over the funeral. We drink way at a, the a drink rum at a wedding. We drink at a christening. Mm-hmm. We drink when we get a new job. We drink when we get fired. We drink when we find a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend. We drink when, when, when they leave us. And you, you know, that contributes to weight gain. Yes, and the liver and the diseases in the body, and the, the NCDs and, and all these non-communicable diseases are caused by weight. So if you lose weight, someone is not going to tell you, um, one of our partners, Owen. Owen lost 90 pounds. Owen Burrows. He's a, he's the person, hats off to Owen Burrows. Was he big and fat? Yes, he was really, really huge. 400 and, pounds. And Owen lost 90 pounds. And Owen says from time to time, no one never says to him, oh, Owen, your cholesterol looking good, eh? Or right. your diabetes looking good, eh? You know what the first thing they say to Owen or to anyone who's lost weight? Boy, well, you looking good, eh? You lose weight, you looking good. Mm-hmm. Why? Because okay, I... No, sorry for interrupting. Uh-huh. But I have a family member that, from I know her, always been eating healthy. Right. And she don't even have kids. Right. But now she's been diagnosed with thyroid. Right. But see, so you have to understand these diseases in the body. She may say, she may tell you, or you may see that she's eating healthy. But what is healthy? Right. Bahamian, some Bahamian concept of healthy is not healthy. Like a lot of people don't even know watermelon when you're trying to lose weight. You should never eat watermelon. Really? No. no. Well, why do Chinese too, eat it? It's too high on the glycemic index. A lot of people are consuming too much sugar. Sugar, right. sugar is the culprit. Well, sugar, why do we Chinese have sh- eat it? And when the Chinese eat watermelon, they make plenty baby. How much funerals do you how see? Much how much Chinese funerals do you see? Funerals you see? Ch- Chinese don't die. And a, lo- and a lot of Bahamians don't understand that because of our Bahamian diet, we have the most disease in our body than any other gonna... nation in the world. I told someone that everyone's in an uproar about the Haitians and this. Look at the Haitian diet. How much Haitians do you know of cancer? How much Haitians do you know? We, we don't have cancer. Why? Why you don't have cancer? Parce garlic? Ma- garlic? Un pil pil. <laughs> bon 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 Listen, the diet, the Haitian diet, the, we, when we do potatoes, um, potato salad, we want white potatoes and, and mayo and all these different things. All that turn to sugar in the body. That's glucose. That turns to sugar. I got another caller. Mm-hmm. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Mr. Hi. Yes. What's on your mind? Good day. Um, I want to ask your, your, your guest, Ms. Monomo, in particular. Good day, um, ladies. In Hi, reference, you mentioned steroids. Yes. Um, what time frame? Because I know you can't be on those on that medication long term. But what time frame did you you um um as far as with with the steroids and you noticed the the gait, the, the weight gain? Well, and, I s- and then how um um could you does it does it counteract with um with the diet? As far as while you're on the steroids, because they, they, they have a bloating effect in any event, yes. right? Yes, yes, they do. 
So well, what, what time frame did you, did you um, um, as far as the weight gain and as far as actually the weight loss and your diet kicking in? I'll hang up on this because I'm interested in this. Thank okay. you. Okay. Um, I started my steroid injections, um, I think it was late 2015, all the way up to May 2016. <coughs> so by mid-March, um, I noticed I had put on the weight. I was originally a size three, and then it went and I um, went to my daughter's graduation, and I was in the mall trying to find something, and I was a size ten. And really, yes, I can't remember you big and fat. A lot of people don't, and when I show them the picture, every time I saw you, you look good. There was ah, but you know, a lot of people who did see me said, "Oh, you look good with this weight on." Really? Yes, okay. and so. Inside, I didn't feel good Okay. because it wasn't me and I couldn't get in the clothes that I had at home and so I had to buy a new wardrobe. And I started the diet, the detoxing. It did not interfere with the medication. I started to lose the weight. I think my first Yeah, week, in the first ten, seven days, days, I lost like 10 lost pounds. Because she, really? she hit me up on Facebook and said, Antoinette, I see you doing this weight loss. At the time, I've, I was helping people on Facebook, you know, join the group because I myself was losing weight. Right. So she joined me and she was um, right. the first week. Well, we I lost must confess, pounds. the two of you look charming. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. And so I lost the weight. Um, the doctors, I mean, when I went back to the doctor, he said, wow. And I was seeing a doctor, the doctor in the, in the wow. U.S. And he was said he was so impressed that I had lost the weight so quickly. Wow. Um, and I told him I was determined to get back to my um, natural size. Wow. And I felt better. I would go walking. Um, in the mornings, I would meditate at the same time. You meditate Yes, well. I would pray. I would have a conversation with God during wow. the, alongside the ocean. And, you know, I just felt better. Um, so, yes, the steroids put the weight on. But if you eat healthy whilst you're on the steroids, then you will lose the weight. And as you know, you can't stay on steroids for too long. Okay. So that process came to an end. Mm -hmm. And I had to learn how to live with the pain. And so I'm still... Painful. Really? Yes. But you look so. You know. Some, I don't know. I don't want to say it because it may be. Mr. Some, Monka, some I'm float. I'm rated at forty percent disability. Really? Yes. Listen, God is good because All I can see nothing disable about you. The people who know me and the people know what I go through. You have, um, you have pains. I have mm -hmm. lots of pain every day, all wow. day, but. I wasn't sleeping during this whole period, and I know a lot of people who have injuries. Insomnia. Insomnia. Develop the same thing that I had, which was insomnia. I would be up 36 hours. What is insomnia? It's a period of not sleeping for a long time. Like really? 36 hours not sleeping. Non-stop. You want to sleep, but you, you can't. Sleep, but you can't. Okay. And there was a product by this company that Owen Burroughs suggested that I take. And I took it and I was, my husband and I were having a conversation and I said, I'm feeling tired for some reason. And I went to sleep. And when I woke up, it was like six o'clock in the morning, wow. full of energy. Wow. And I didn't want to know, I didn't want to believe it was this packet, uh -huh. which tastes city, like right. fruit, like fruit punch. That's what it tastes like. Do you know what is in that packet? Antioxidants. Antioxidants. Yes, yes. a lot okay. of it. A lot. A lot of it. And you know, you're using big words. So. <laughs> Antioxidants. What that means? <laughs> well, let's just say this. Let tell. Let's okay. tell the the people of the Bahamas that if you eat a lot of blueberries and eat a lot, lot of, of raspberries, of raspberries and a lot of citrus, you will get a lot of antioxidants. It helps fight okay. flus and disease in the body. Have you ever heard about gooseberries? Yes, yes. I ate a lot of gooseberries. It's very good. I'm from Foxhill, you know. Okay. I'm one of the Foxhill women there. This is powerful. <laughs> yeah, this is do you, powerful. Do you really I'm born in Foxhill. Do you really accept my leadership? Yes, I do. Are you one of, of the women's them? One of the women's One hundred percent of one of the women's them. And you are submitting to I your husband. I am submitting to my husband. One hundred percent. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the charming, beautiful, educated women who is a part of the Get Fit, Fit 21. 21 has accepted my leadership. <laughs> and they have nationally proclaimed that they are the woman dam. Yes. And as leader of the woman dam, they have convinced me of this product. So I want all the woman dam, particularly those of you who are eating poly. Those of you who are big and fat and so forth, I want you all to contact this woman and start eating good and taking these things and continue to reject gender equality and submit to the man. Go ahead. Also, I also want to tell everyone about why Get Fit 21 and why Get Fit 100,000 pound challenge is important. Yes. We have partnered, like I say, with the ministry and we have partnered with um, 
other organizations. So oh, yeah. if you are in a gym, just ask your gym instructor or if they're part of Get Fit. Because what happens when you lose weight with any one of the organizations that are part of, a part of the Get Fit um, or part of the 100,000 pound challenge? Yes. yes. What, what happens is your weight loss during 2018, it's a year. Actually, it, we've started last year. We've already contributed 500 pounds to the weight loss. We're trying to get the Bahamas off of this list. We're number six in the the Americas for overweight and obesity. Number six. Really? So if we if you lose weight with Get Fit 21, not only would you lose the weight, feel better inside and out, your weight loss goes towards the National Weight Loss Bank. Wow. If you are doing exercises in other arenas, probably the weight loss will not be recorded. I, I'm not sure of whoever you're involved with is, is a part of the Ministry of Health initiative. But I know for sure Get Fit 21 and the 100,000 is a part, of, is of, a the part of the initiative. So of once you get on board, corporations, organizations, businesses, we're asking corporate America, corporate Bahamas, <laughs> sorry, to get on board, right? And let your pound count, even if it's only one pound, even if it's no pound, even if you just join Get Fit to feel better, to sleep, to get rid of pain. We have products here. Um, Kayla brought some samples for you, Mr. Monka. Really? Yes, yes. Mr. Monka. Well, I hope my wife know how to cook them. No, it's, well, it's nothing not to, to cook. cook. It's just drink. Oh, it's, it's just, just drink. drink. Yes. This okay. matcha, matcha. Matcha. It's a, it's a plant that is grown in Japan, in Japan once okay. a year. It's picking what, right before. What will that do for me at 61? Listen, at 61, energy plenty of energy for days. Really? Yes. You know I'm not boily. Yes. <laughs> Will it matcha help me matcha will worthy? give you yes it will Seriously? it will give you lots of energy okay. it helps with with clarity mental clarity, clarity. Okay. children on the in um the we have students on the Mona campus in Jamaica uh -huh. that are studying for exams are taking matcha my really? daughter yes. is taking it her daughter is in, is in um, school to FIU. be a doctor uh -huh. FIU and the Japanese make this the, the, yes the, <laughs> listen when you yeah. drink matcha, matcha it gives you lots of energy lots gives of you energy. mental clarity mental clarity actually it helps you to burn fat Burn fat. Mm -hmm. Yes, Go and ahead. it's a an high powerful antioxidant. My husband had the flu last week, and, you and him I him gave him matcha hot. hot. See, when you drink it hot, yes, it takes away pain really? out of the body, right? And it helps with flu symptoms. When you drink it cold, you can drink it before you work out. It gives okay. you lots of energy to work out. But don't drink it after don't five. Don't drink it after off. five, or Why? you won't sleep. Won't Only sleep. if you're going out. If you have a party or, or a, a gathering and you want to stay up, uh -huh. like for all the members in the house. So we told Dr. Dwayne Sands, when you go to the house, drink a matcha. Drink a matcha. You wouldn't fall asleep. I mean, a couple of times we watched the, the, the Bahamas mean, Parliament and some of them sleep in. You mean the members of Parliament? Yeah, the members, they need yeah. matcha. What and it's, need? It's, all, it's a plant-based. All of Unicity's products are plant-based. Okay. 100%. You know, Unicity is a science company. Okay. Okay, they deal with metabolic health and science, but all of their products are all plant-based. So it won't balanced. interfere. And this is balanced. Our flagship product. Flagship product. Drink this product. 10 to 15 minutes before you eat. Uh -huh. And this stops the heavy absorption of sugar. Really? Glucose into the blood. Approved by Cleveland. Approved by Cleve all the clinics. clinics. All the um, universities. Uh -huh. Cleveland Clinic. Clinic. University of John, uh, John Hopkins, Hopkins University, university. University of Australia. Have you sold any to the Princess Margaret Hospital yet? Well, Dr. Dwayne Sands, actually, he's encouraging. He's not, he is not trying to promote one particular product. Okay. But... It's in the physician's desk reference. You know what the physician's desk re oh, reference no, is? That's the, the Bible. doctor's Bible. Really? Unicity has over 16 products in the physician's desk reference. And you think? And to get in the physician's desk reference. You think Dr. Dwayne Sands would have no problem? No problem. We have, no. we have a gentleman by the name of Howard Miller who leg was about to be amputated. And because he had diabetes. He was a diabetic for almost 30 he years. He was to the, to the door to be, have it amputated. Uh, and he, and he and turned, he turned around and met Owen Borrows. And Owen gave him yes. How much does this cost? Go, I, to, go to YouTube and type in Howard Miller. Story Unicity yes, he, Howard Miller Unicity. He's a baby from Bahamian. Michael Road. Yep. Really? Yes. Yes. But listen, Howard Miller leg was about to be amputated, and he took Balance, balance. ten minutes before he ate. All of these products that I'm talking about, Balance, uh -huh. is in the physici physician's desk reference. That means your doctor can prescribe Unicity's products to you. Really? Yes. yes. And, and this, this will cause your legs. Well, it won't cause. What it does, it promotes healthy glucose levels in the body. Okay. So it stops the absorption of sugar. In, you know, most diabetic and people who are pre-diabetic, right. what the reason why is because the insulin levels, the body's no longer detecting insulin. Right. So you, you're consuming so much food and, and the, most everything you eat turns to sugar in the body. Mm -hmm. okay. The body uses glucose and fat to, for energy. Yes. But most of us don't eat enough healthy, healthy. fats. Okay. We're eating what, carbohydrates. What are, what are healthy fats? Avocado. Coconut, yeah. Nuts. Co nuts, a lot of them. Nuts and Hot nuts? coconut oil. <laughs> coconut oil? Yes, yes, you know, coconut oil. These okay. are these are healthy fats that the body What can. about coconut? Coconut, coconut is, is, is very good for the really? body. Really? Yes. Okay. So, you know, so instead avocado, of drinking. Mm -hmm. Coconuts. 
Haben wir das? Nuts. Nuts. A lot of healthy, yeah. yeah. Well, women, you heard it. Nuts will do wonders for you. <laughs> Go ahead. So what we're encouraging persons to do is get with your physician before yes. you um, just get with your doctor and join. Go to Facebook. Look up Kayla Mortimer on Facebook, Antoinette Butler Smith on Facebook. Um, if you're not on Facebook, you can call us. Um, we'll post our number in the Get Fit group. On, my number is 810-2612. So you can call me. Kayla, number is 457-1450. And we're here to help you guys. Like I said, we make your pounds count in 2018. Yes. Make your pounds count. You know, corporations, you know, every year, these big corporations, they do a fitness a health program. Fitness. Why don't you just get get fit involved in um, the 100,000 pound challenge and let us get your employees from, you know, insurance rates are through the roof because empl and employees productivity. productivity is down in, in, in the workplace because people are sick and people are tired, stressed, because stressed. And, you know, all of this, these disease and these things that's going on in the body, they cause a, a poor quality of life. And we want to encourage Bahamians to get up and exercise, yes. even if you're just walking in your home, running your up house, the stairs, running taking up the, the stairs, elevator, going, I mean, walking taking, our beautiful taking the beaches. stairs instead of the elevator, you know, now, you know, I don't have any elevator. You don't? <laughs> no stair. No stair. How will I exercise? But you well, have, you, you have the main road. You have all these beautiful parks. We okay. have the beach. We have all this, beach. all the resources and but, the side Sidewalk, the government has but implemented. No Both governments have put so much sidewalks. Wow. Everywhere you go, there's a sidewalk. Yeah, the PLP got all kind of sidewalks. Oh, wow. Yes. Well. Yes. And so, so we want to encourage you to get up. Okay. And walk. And get up. We are driving too much. Yes, we are. Okay. Buy a bike. Ride sometimes on the weekend. Mm -hmm. You know? So at the end of the day, guys, listen. Get for 21, 100,000 pound challenge. Make your pounds count. Um, the Ministry of Health is is a partner with us. You know, um, PAHO is is on board with us. So guys, please get get with us on Facebook, Antoinette Butler Smith. Get with us on WhatsApp, eight ten twenty six twelve, Antoinette Butler, and, and let's Mortimer. help you to lose this weight in two thousand eighteen. Yes, Kayla, Kayla Mortimer, Mortimer, four five seven. One four five zero. Let's do this, Bahamas. Let's. And you're not because you're slim doesn't mean you're healthy. You know, be slim and be healthy, all in the same um, body. Well, ladies, you can't say that as leader of the woman dam, I didn't give you all support. So, you heard them, folks. You know what to do. It's Get Fit 21. All right? Anyway, take good care. Tomorrow, if it is God's will, I think I may have another woman to join me. This is Freedom Art. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, See you tomorrow. Bye, Bahamas. Yeah, Thoughts, bye, girls. Views and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved.